Hey, how's it going YouTube? Welcome back to another episode here on the Jeez Footage Garage. So today I'm going to be working on Boogeyman. It's actually going to be a pretty uh, simple video today. I'm actually going to be removing the side skirts. And if you guys see here, um, this side skirt here is basically falling off already. You can see here. There you guys can see it right there. Um, this side actually held up pretty good. Um, because this side, it fit really good here and it fit really good here. So, on this side, it actually was too short. So I had to cut it, I had to cut this end off to make it fit. Um, so it never fit good from the get-go. Uh, these, I got them off like eBay or something like that. And they never fit good from the beginning, so... I actually went back and forth with the company. They were really cool. And they said, don't worry about it. Here's your refund. So I was like, eh, why not try to make them work, right? And that's what I did. I made them work for a little bit, but they didn't hold up. So today I'm gonna actually remove the side skirts. And I don't know uh, if that's gonna be such a cool thing or not, because I kind of like how they look when they don't have side skirts. And I kind of like when they do have side skirts. So, uh, and then uh, I was actually pretty inspired when my friend, Fast Life Russ was here the other day. He had his car with some really nice ones from Carbon Fiber. I might get the same ones. So um, so yeah, we'll see, we'll shop around. But first things first, let's go ahead and remove these side skirts because they look horrible. All right guys, so as you guys can see here, I actually put vinyl tape. Um, not, vi not tape, but vinyl wrap. I actually put some vinyl wrap right here um, to cover the the hole and I know that was super ghetto to do but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do but I'll show you guys here what I'm talking about I basically in order to make them fit I actually cut the end of the side skirt off because it was too short so um, it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't sit well so I cut the end off and I made it work, but it had this little hole here that I didn't really like. So I just uh, put some vinyl wrap over it and then you couldn't see it. So it was a little tacky, but it worked for a little while. And uh, this thing should come off no problem. So there's some screws on the bottom. I'll take them off. See there, there's one, there's another. They just basically take these off. Okay guys, I actually lied. There's actually uh, mostly screws on the bottom. Um, those are the ones that you have to make to secure the, the side skirt in place. But it actually has a, it actually uses one factory style bolt that's already on the car. And I'll show you what that one looks like. It's this guy right here. So you just take this off, it's a seven. Alright guys, and I was very careful with all the screws, I didn't want to leave any laying around because this car drives around on on a buy, on a ET street and I don't want to mess them up. So let's see how these things look when they come off. Look. Did I forget one? I think I forgot one. Of course I did.
man guys i don't know what do you guys think it looks good either way huh it does look really aggressive and stylish with the side skirts but it looks i don't know like real race car style without them because you can see a lot of the tire check it out you can see a lot of the tire there there's still a lot of residue and uh double sided sticky tape that i need to clear away um but i just wanted to show you guys the differences between this side and that side before we lose uh sunlight here and uh i don't know what do you guys think do we go with the naked look or do we get some more side skirts like i said i could go either way i'm not i don't know i could go either way with it what are some good quality replacement side skirts or nothing i don't know it looks good uh, i like it either way um I forgot to take off some sticky tape from the bottom. Typical me. But I had plenty of double sided sticky tape on it. Um, here you can see where I actually cut the end off of it. Um, the paint was flaking off on them. They were coming apart. They were just really, really cheap. So they're going to go in the trash can. Okay guys, so right now what I'm doing, I'm taking laziness to a whole nother level. So I didn't want to take off the tire, so I just got a little bit here. I'm going to use a little uh, little wrench, since I can't get a screwdriver in here. And this is basically laziness at its best. And there you go guys, who says you need to take the tire off, huh? pretty mean um i don't know if you guys noticed on this side here um it has some residue and that's because um this is actually silicone i actually in efforts to prevent it from coming off i saw the, a video from lethal garage that he actually put a uh, silicone and i tried to do the same thing um i think it was a video by lethal i'm not sure who it was but uh so now i'm left with the uh, this thing to tackle so we'll 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 push it back into the garage and then uh we'll get rid of all this stuff also guys what do you guys think about this i actually freehand this g challenged me to and i should i i showed him i could do it what do you guys think I'm not the best artist, but you know, a couple beers and that's what you end up with. <laughs> so, all right guys, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. You think we should uh, replace the side skirts, put maybe, I don't know, whatever you guys recommend, some cool ones, some good quality ones, some, some that have good fitment, maybe change out the whole little rocker panel there to like a ZL1 style and get like some OEM style stuff. I don't know, something cool. You guys comment down below, let me know. But this is where we're at guys. All right, guys, you guys can see here, I actually have a complete set because when they sent me the replacement one, I actually cut up this one to make it fit and I test fitted it. And when this one arrived, the replacement, I checked it and it was still pretty short. 
So I just went ahead with the one. So I went ahead and installed the one that I modified. <laughs> Okay guys, so um, the double sided sticky tape came out pretty quickly, it was super easy, uh, but the silicone that I put on there to prevent it from coming off, uh, like on the little edge, uh, that one's a little bit more of a pain in the butt to take off. So I rubbed it off with my fingers as much as I could and I'm going to try, try some goo gone and uh, let's see how this stuff works out. It's not a lot, it's only a little bit left, so we'll see how this stuff works. pretty good uh, it took a little bit of elbow work but it got the job done and uh, I'm just gonna wipe off the goo gone with a little bit of quick detailer just to make sure I don't even know that stuff on there who knows what long time exposure of that stuff on the paint would do so I'm just gonna saturate it really good and wipe it off Well, I still have the other side to do, but I won't bore you guys with that one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes another episode here on the Jeep Footage Garage. Um, as you guys saw, we removed the side skirts off my car. Uh, I want your guys' uh, honest feedback. Let me know what you guys think. Should I replace the side skirts? Should I not? Do you guys prefer the the copal blank? Well, not blank, but simple look to it. Um, save the money, throw it on some more power, maybe a fuel system, or replace the side skirts with some really cool ones, maybe carbon fiber, something along those lines. You guys comment down below. Let me know what you guys want. Um, also, guys, um, we want your guys' help on. How can we grow this channel? Do you guys want to see a, a new build? Do you guys want us to build like a LS swap uh, car? Uh, maybe a something, whatever, whatever, whatever you guys think um, that would help us get traction with this channel. Please comment down below, let us know, and we'll look into it. And you never know, we may buy another project car just for the channel. So with that being said, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to give us that thumbs up and we'll catch you guys on the next episode. Later.